From barroom piano player to lay minister, my next guest this morning, Bobby Green. He has some interesting views on faith and miracles. You'll find them in his very first book entitled The Fantasy Passport. The Fantasy Passport is one of the newest additions to absolutely amazing ebooks, self publishing, and inspirational books. Now, I've been speaking with some of the absolutely amazing ebooks authors, they're all fabulous. Today's guest, he's no different. Bobby, thank you for being oh, on with me today. It's a pleasure to be here, Jenna. <laughs> All right, let's first get right into the book. And you have my full attention because two of my favorite things, Bobby, are faith and miracles. So. Oh, wow, okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, The Fantasy Passport. How did you come up with this title? The title comes from a travel adventure that I had in 1998 when I went to Europe on a Conk Republic passport mm -hmm. as the official flag bearer of the Conk Republic carrying this gigantic Key West Conk flag that I have. It's like 12 by 18 feet to the first international Conk Republic festival in the beautiful Alpine town of Innsbruck, Austria. Mm -hmm. The problem was that I got involved in this trip only about 10 days before the departure date and I didn't have enough time to apply for a passport and have it sent down from Miami, which takes about two weeks. So the Secretary General, Sir Peter Anderson, gave me a Conk Republic passport. It even says, if I get the light right, it says diplomat up here. So I went to Europe on this. Now, of course, I was a little uh, un, um, skeptical about this. He said, look, he showed me his passport. It's got stamps from all over the world. Mm. But he said, be sure to bring plenty of ID, especially your birth certificate, to prove your citizenship in case you have a problem. So I use this in my book as an example of stepping out on faith. By stepping out on faith, I don't mean just blithely stepping off a precipice into an abyss of uncertainty and trusting that God will provide a safe landing. The Bible says, thou shalt not tempt the Lord thy God, and I believe that. What I'm talking about is setting out on a course, just like that scooter on Nicholas Burgery's fantastic uh, cover photo on my book. You set out on a course to serve a purpose, and you realize there may be challenges along the way. You do what you can to prepare for it, bring your ID or whatever, mm -hmm. and then you face them, and you see your way through with faith and perseverance, and in the end, you come out with another chapter of experience added to your book of life. So that's exactly what happened. Uh, the trip was wonderful, everything was cool, until it came time to get on the plane to go home. <laughs> that's where they get serious about <laughs> checking passports, and I mean the airline. Because if they let you on the plane with an invalid passport, they got to fly you back at their expense. Now we're talking about money. Now we get serious. <laughs> so the man from Lufthansa looks at my passport and he says, this is ein fantasy passport. <laughs> I had to go to the consulate in Frankfurt and get one of them real American passports. So I made it home and I got this great story to tell. You know, I'm going to sit in Grand and tell my grandchildren. <laughs> The book is actually a book of sermons, 24 sermons that I gave in my church, First Congregational, over a period of uh, two years as lay minister. Now, folks around town know me as a barroom piano player. Uh, my real instrument, however, is the organ. And I've been a church organist for many years, associated with this church since 1989. And on occasion, I had given the sermon in the pastor's absence and finally was uh, given the opportunity to speak once a month on a regular basis. So I speak from a different point of view than an ordained minister. I'm, I'm not trained in the scriptures. I speak from life experience. And I believe that the life of faith is a, an experience of a living relationship with a living God. And you can learn about God from a book, but you discover God in life. And that's the underlying point of this book. Mm -hmm. I tackle some pretty thorny issues, and I speak very bluntly about them. Maybe, uh, you might say outside the box and maybe a little too much so because they've asked me to stop <laughs> preaching you know <laughs> but anyway I, I did enough to put in this book you know so um there is one thing about this book that i believe is unique in all the world mm -hmm. and that is that i have pieced together or corroborated some evidence from two sources scientific investigation and this book called the Urantia book, which presents itself as a revelation of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And it contains a description of the entire life of Jesus, like as, as if it would have been witnessed by the angels who watched over him and then, you know, conveying this information down to us in a book. That's a pretty profound statement to make. Mm -hmm. I've read the book and I believe it. 
I'm no genius, but I have a degree from Rutgers. I'm not a complete dummy. I can read books and understand them if they're not too difficult. <laughs> and I accept this book for what it claims to be. In there, I found a description of something that happened in the tomb of Jesus in the wee hours, a little after 3 a.m. on Easter morning. And it explains, so I believe, how this image was created on the shroud of uh, Turin. This is believed to be the burial shroud that Jesus was wrapped in. And it shows the image of a man who's suffered all the punishment that Jesus was subjected to in his passion. But the scientific investigations, both by these uh, Air Force scientists in seven, 1978, who analyzed it with the same techniques they analyzed as photos from the uh, space satellites, they bring out information that's not obvious to the naked eye. They found there's actually a three-dimensional image encoded in the density of the image on the shroud. As the, the further the cloth gets from the skin, the image fades in an exact mathematical ratio. The mm -hmm. only thing that produced could produce an effect like this is a burst of radiant energy. Mm -hmm. And in the Arantia book, they describe a pr process which I believe mm -hmm. could produce such an effect. Okay. And I think this is the first time anybody has put these two things together and presented it. Okay, so, so people can read that if they pick yeah. up their copy of the Fantasy Passport. Right. So it sounds like you have very unique things in here. And again, Bobby, your book is it's about faith and miracles and, and all of your sermons that you've had throughout the yeah, years. Yeah, it's like so. they say on the news channel, you know, I report, you decide. Okay. You'll be the judge. I'm just an old barroom piano player from Key West. So <laughs> what do I know? <laughs> all right, Bobby, thank you for being on this morning. And if you want more information on absolutely amazing ebooks, just check out the website on the bottom of the screen. I'm going to take a quick break right now, but I'll be right back after these messages. Stay with me.